this player is able to do the right decisions in the right parts of the field. When analyzing a player, we look at these four components, the technical, physical, mental, and the tactical aspects of the player. Number one, the player's movements, decisions, execution, in possession. In this first clip, we're gonna look at this central midfielder playing as a box-to-box -box and all the little decisions and movements that they make on and off the ball while their team is in possession. These movements or these passes or dribbles that they decide to make in certain moments to help their team progress forward or even create any attacking opportunities is what makes these players stand out. In this clip, you can see how they move to that open space, they get on the ball, they play forward, stay in support, and then on this next play, they're able to find that pass forward to break these two lines in order to create an attacking opportunity. Thankfully, this attacking opportunity ends up in a goal just from making that decision instead of playing sideways or playing backwards. And in these next clips, you're going to be able to see how this player is able to do the right decisions in the right parts of the field. Again, this player is playing as a central midfielder, so there will be moments when they join the attack and they will provide any attacking opportunities in the attack. There will be moments when they sit back and provide that support for their teammates. It also depends on what type of instructions you have as a player or what type of instructions you are able to see when watching these matches. But as long as they're doing the right thing in the right moment and properly executing that decision, this is what makes them stand out in possession. Number two, we're gonna analyze the same exact thing, but this time out of possession. What is the player doing when they are defending? Are they in the right spots? Are they executing the tackles that they need to execute? And this all depends on what position that player is playing. So in this case, this player is a box-to-box -box midfielder. They are usually gonna be in the central areas of the pitch. This player in particular has a characteristic of being a ball winner. So as you can see, he sometimes is all over the pitch because he is a workhorse. But then we look at, are they covering when their teammates step out to pressure? Are they pressuring in the right moments? What type of mistakes do they do? How do they react after those mistakes? Are they able to win their 50-50 tackles or any 50-50 situation? We're looking at everything specifically that that player is supposed to do defensively in their position. The third thing that we're gonna look at is the player's reactions and decisions in transition. So this applies both on offense or defense. Notice how this player right here tries to do a little flick and he loses it, but right away he tries to apply pressure, drops back defensively. Unfortunately, it ends up in a goal, but these are situations that will happen in matches. In this next clip, you can see how possession is lost by the white team right here. And then these three players on the white team react quickly, trying to win the ball back. Here, these three players are showing their reaction and their decision to try to win the ball back. Of course, these are probably instructions that they have trained on the training ground trying to put it into practice in real game situations. And now we look at the same thing, but during an attacking transition. Notice how this player right here is able to turn right away and with speed and urgency, they are in a three versus three situation, trying to attack the white team as quick as possible to create a goal scoring chance. Every time a player has an opportunity, they should be looking to either attack with speed or slow down the tempo depending on what situation is given in that moment. And lastly, we look at the player's personality, body language, and mentality. You might be asking yourself, how do you notice these things during a match? 
it's little things like this where a player is opening up their arms asking for the ball showing that confidence to get on the ball if you don't receive the ball are you still able to continue playing move into the space that you need to move to you don't show any negative attitude you just continue and then once you do get on the ball how do you execute the correct decision in the correct moment in this next clip you see how this winger tries to control this ball unfortunately he's unable to but shows a thumbs up appreciating the pass that was played little things like this show the type of person you are on the pitch for goalkeepers showing this type of composure when you are on the ball also showcases the confidence that you have in your own ability of course there will be moments when you come up big during saves that that also showcases out again in this next clip you're seeing how these two players are raising up their arms trying and asking for the ball letting their teammates know that they are open and that they should play through the left side once they finally get the ball then they are able to relieve pressure from their team and then keep possession in this last clip you can see how this player in the white team falls to the ground maybe looking to get a foul unfortunately he doesn't get it but right away he's able to stand up dribble progress the ball forward and then see any opportunities to generate an attack thankfully his team's able to win a corner kick from this decision and lastly does that player know their role and are they executing that role correctly in possession do they know their role and are they executing that role correctly out of possession do they know their role in transition how quickly do they react both offensively and defensively and lastly, their mentality and personality. Are they in control of their emotions? Do they showcase their confidence? And how do they react in a situation that goes their way or that does not go their way?